Top stories today, the growing threat from North Korea. Sources telling Fox News the Pentagon is ramping up security and resuming the implementation of its missile defense shield. This after North Korea warned of a preemptive nuclear strike against the United States. General Jack Keane is a retired four-star general and former vice chief of staff of the Army. Are we safe, General? Well, there's certainly a growing threat from North Korea. We know they have nuclear weapons. They're trying to miniaturize them so they can affix them to a missile. And they've developed missile technology, which they just tested in, back in, uh, in December, that is attempting to reach the west coast of the United States, obviously to include Alaska and Hawaii. That, that's where they're heading. We have to take that threat seriously. So these interceptors that we understand are going back into place, or they're being placed in Alaska and California. How good are they? Well, our missile defense technology is the best in the world. And you saw a display of that to some degree with the attack on the Israelis, because the technology they have and what we have is, is very close. So we do have the capacity to knock those missiles down, to be, to be sure and certainly thickening that defense land-based, but we're also thickening the, the maritime and sea-based uh, defense as well. We've heard so many threats over the years from North Korea, General Keene. Why do you think this time is different, or is it even different? Well, it, it is different in terms of the evolving nature of the threat, as we just discussed. They're increasing their capacity and capabilities. The Pentagon has got to take that seriously because they don't get involved in the emotion and politics of a threat. They get involved in what are the real capabilities. And these capabilities are real and they're increasing. So that, that's serious. The other thing is dealing with the new leader, Kim Jong-un. And, and we still don't know a lot about him. And, and his reign is developing right before our eyes. But he's out seen an artillery site just recently, which is the same site that fired in 2010 on the South Korean island where, we had, where they had casualties there. And, and the other thing is they have a new president in, in South Korea, and usually North Korea has some kind of provocation after a new South Korean president takes office. So we don't know what he's going to do, but I, I suspect he's going to do something in, in the next few weeks or months. What's also concerning to many analysts is the relationship between North Korea and Iran. There's certainly a lot of focus on missile intercept, interception on the West Coast because of the geography with North Korea. But what about our East Coast? What about their relationship with Iran? Should we be looking elsewhere besides just Alaska and California to beef up our defenses? Well, the Iranians certainly, as we all know, we've talked many times, are developing a nuclear weapon. They have missile technology, short, medium, and long-range missiles that can deal with their entire region and also reach into southern and eastern Europe. They're not, they do not have transcontinental missiles so-called ICBMs that we have. But nonetheless, the Iranian developing threat is very serious. And it, it, in, in some respects, it's more serious than, Iran, than North Korea because they have stated time and time again that they intend to dominate the region of the, of the Middle East. And so this weapons technology is part of that geopolitical effort. A lot of these efforts are defensive efforts, right? These missile interception, this is about, you know, a missile coming in and being able to knock it out of the sky. Do you think for either situation, North Korea or Iran, instead of being reactive, uh, we become more aggressive militarily to, to put a stop to their threats? Well, I think geopolitically our objective in North Korea should have been for some time regime change. I'm not talking about military force, as you suggested, but a significant geopolitical and clandestine effort that should always be our goal and do that in cooperation with the South Koreans. And certainly as it pertains to Iran, I don't believe for a minute that we should permit them to have a nuclear capability given their stated, clearly, unequivocal strategic goals. And if it requires military force, then certainly we should do that. General Keene, always nice to see you, sir. Thank you. That's good seeing you, Jenna.